Hi and welcome to this week's Something for the Weekend. This is Richard. Hello, hi. And I'm Tony. And uh, today Richard sent me a bit of a challenge. I have indeed, yes. Well, last night, yesterday, I took home this antenna, mm -hmm. the JPC-12, okay. the Mydel JPC-12, and I managed to put this up in about two to three minutes. Okay, so oh. this is the one that Martin showed us the other day, HF. That's right. All the way through 100 watts, basically portable. That's right, it goes from 40 metres okay. all the way up to six metres. Right. Yeah. So there you go, Tony. That's my challenge. Challenge. Okay, I might need a bit of a, a bit of help with the tuning. Okay, yeah. Let's see if we can get out within the two minutes. All right, me. no problem. Right, let's go. So, just gonna find somewhere suitable to do this. If you've not seen one of these before, don't start the timer yet, by the way, because obviously no? I'm gonna okay. no, I'm gonna show them quickly what's in here. So <laughs> basically you've got the full antenna, so all of your mast parts here, ground spike, telescopic whip, feed point coil for tuning, and also a, an earth sort of a radial system there yep. as well. So a couple of minutes you say? I did it in, I reckon under three minutes I right. did put it up. Yep. You don't happen to have a mallet because the ground's quite hard. I've got one just here. Right, well let's go from the <laughs> top of the mallet then shall we, including getting it out. Right, <laughs> okay. Right, let's have a go. There so, we go. Ground spike first of all. Uh, should be the flint. Okay, that's it nice and solid. So now I have cheated a little bit because I did look at the instructions beforehand and I've ah. seen a picture of one. Oh, I didn't look at the instructions, so it should take you. Oh, okay. All right, so let's have a look. You should be a lot quicker than me then. Let's have a look. What's that bit there? So this is the radial system, which you can spread out, I believe. So that's on there. And then if I remember the picture, it'll be a feed point followed by the mast parts. So and there's four in total. Could have picked a cooler day for this, Richard. Yeah, it's I'm very warm. Work a sweat it? up in this weather. Seems quite sturdy. So this mounts onto here. It's nice and tight. Okay. And then we've got the coil and a telescopic whip. So with the coil. What I found with the coil, or which just sort of explained, is that the lower you are on the coil, the more you are to 40 meters basically, and then you work your way up as you're tuning. So let's get this on. This is always the bit, get this done first before. That's it, yeah. that's it. It's much easier to do the telescopic I was bit say, before you put it on. I'm yep. not the tallest of guys. So. <laughs> okay. That seems fine. It's very well made. That's a stainless telescopic. It, it is, yeah, yeah. I thought as I was putting it together, actually, that it's very, uh, very well constructed. Okay, so that's good. Now, schoolboy area there. Oh dear. It's kind of up. I've uh, gone round with this, so twisting it. So let's get this stretched out. There we go. And that's it, that's the antenna up. That's it, now that was probably a lot longer than two minutes I would have thought. I'll just check on the video afterwards. But even with the explaining in between, uh, as I said, you could work, I've literally worked off of the picture that I've seen on the website of yep. this. Yeah. So, I mean, is there another way of loading these? Have you seen it done in any other way? Because that's what you sent to load this is This is how it's described in the manual, okay. which I had a quick look at. I didn't read the instructions, just looked at the picture the same as you. And yesterday when I put this together, I set it to, on the tuning coil here, I set it on the 20 meter mark, checked it with, uh, with my rig expert and it was bang on. Perfect. It was 1.6 okay. to one. Well, should we try this one out? Yeah, so might have as done well. a good job. Let's get some coax on it. Yep. Now, Ultraflex 7 coax, nice and light. I take yep. it for portable, good. Indeed, indeed, very Surely good. Very good. 
There we go. That should be that part. I'll extend this so we don't have any, don't have a, a loading coil on it. <laughs> okay, it's me done. Connect it to the analyzer. There we go, go to the SWR page. That's it, we are slightly Oh, we've got an SWR of about two to one. Two to one, okay. So I, I reckon... Down or up? If we go, let's try going down on the coil. Down on the coil? Yep. Yeah. Right, so as you can see, literally just to notch it is just slide that down or slide it up. So there we go. And then with the antenna, obviously you can adjust bit by bit here with the telescopic. So there we go. Right, let's get on the air. Let's check the SWR. 1.6 to 1, perfect. There you go, perfect. Very nice. Okay, so connected it to the radio now. And as you can see, just give it a quick, uh, there we go. As Richard said, 1.5, 1.6 on the SWR. Okay, so we're going to give it a few tests whilst we're here. I think Martin's given us, what, an extra 10 minutes for lunch today, didn't he? He has, yes, yes. So, got a laptop with me, going to set up some FT8, let it run for a little while, see what happens. Um, and whilst we're doing that, we're going to show you the dipole version. Okay, right, well, while T Tony's setting up the, uh, the laptop for work, for the vertical, I'm going to now show you the Mydell JPC-7. Now, this is the dipole version. Of, from the same manufacturer, of course. We've got, with this one, we have two coils because we're going to build a dipole, two telescopic whips, and we still have the four um, antenna sections. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this together now. First of all, dipole centre. I'm going to pop that in the... in the tripod. There we are. And we're going to use two of the mast sections on each side. Try and do this as quickly as I can. And another two for the other side. There we go. Two coils. They work exactly the same as the coils for the vertical. I'll set these for the 20 meter band, just as a starting point. Very simple to do. And the telescopic whip as well. Same on the other side, and as you can see, this is very quick to go together. Very easy. All, st all stainless threads. There we go. So that's together. Now we'll extend the telescopic sections. Now this is quite a large antenna. Which is why you need the large mast with it, uh, the large uh, tripod with it. Now when this goes up, unless it's a very still day, you must be safe. Think about your surroundings and get this guide up nicely so it's nice and secure. There we go. Right, I'm going to put the dipole centre on now. now this is a one-to-one -one ballon. Let's take the cap off one to one ballon and it clicks into here. Wonder if Henry can pop round this side to see. 
There we go. We've got the connections here, like so. Right, OK, now we've got the dipole together. Attach the coax before you put it up. But for today's demonstration, I'll just put it up for you. Now, this is the dipole, the uh, tripod that comes with it. And it's got stops. There we go. Four metres tall. Now, it is a little windy here today, so I do advise that you guy this. And the last one. There we go. Right, it does go up another metre. I don't want to put it up any higher. It's quite windy and I haven't got any guys with me. But there we go. It's quite a large antenna. Very effective. And with a bit of luck with the... with modern technology, we'll be able to show some screenshots later on of where we've actually been heard on the, uh, on the vertical. OK, so just a, just a quick halfway through update. And uh, as you can see, the antenna is receiving quite a few stations on the FT8 screen. They're just using the WSJTX software. And uh, as we come across, uh, just over two and a half watts on the 705. So if you've never used FT8 before, this is kind of basically a very, very brief introduction of it. So on your left hand side, you've got all of the stations that you're receiving. And on the right hand side is your CQs and any of the QSOs that you're having. And that's all your macros down below. So very brief introduction. And this is where everyone is hiding nowadays uh, when they should all be on SSB and CW, obviously. But uh, each set of owners, you can see we're, we're out in the park and it's nice and quiet. I'm not shouting CQ and QRZ at the top of my voice. So, yeah, embrace it. OK, so we're back in the office. Glad to be because it's a lot cooler in the office, that's for sure, with the air conditioning. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at PSK Reporter and see what the results are like. So we only operated for um, so around about 30 minutes or so. Um, Someone forgot to bring the quiche. Hold my hands up for that. So let's log into here. Now we were using uh, G2ML, which is the club call on 20 meters. So I'll select 20 meters. There we go. And then go into the call sign. So G2, G2ML. I've got a W now. G2ML and signal sent by. So, we set this up for, let's do the uh, last couple of hours, so it gives us a bit of uh, bit of coverage. Uh, we haven't operated with that call sign today, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. So, all right, we press go. Okay, so not too shabby. Um, as you can see around this area here, we have covered most of Europe. As I said, this was uh, around about two and a half watts with the IC705 to the vertical. Obviously not the, uh, the best location ever, just the local park. But it goes to show what can be done and obviously with the, the ease of setting up as well. But you could do within a lunch break, maybe work some DX. So let's have a, let me can zoom in a little more here. There we go. Now you have to bear with me because I'm not much of an Apple man. Right. So, yep, down here, a bit of Echo Alpha. It worked along here. There we go. Uh, as you can see, distance there, 1194 kilometers. So, not, not too shabby. Uh, also received by uh, RN4WA, which was uh, over 3000 kilometers. And as we click through, we've got uh, Echo Sierra 3 Tango India as well, at uh, just under 2000 kilometers. Uh, Echo Whiskey 1, Mike Yankee, again, just under 2,000 kilometres. Uh, we've got some Inter-G stuff here as well. So uh, GM8RVC at uh, 719 kilometres. So coverage-wise, really good. I mean, we, we missed a big chunk around here. Um, but if we look here, I'll take it, that's going to be, yeah, Switzerland. So Hotel Bravo 9, Fox November Oscar. Heard us there. And uh, Delta Bravo 5 Fox Whiskey. And if we go down the bottom, Sugar Victor 8, Romeo Victor. 
no. And we should have, uh, I wonder if we've some Italian stations as well. Yeah, so IZ7KGB, for example. Right, so that shows you what you can do with two and a half watts. Simple setup, you know, this little bag here, a 705 and a laptop, uh, and you're on the air. And you can have some fun in the park. You're not annoying anyone else because there's no noise. Um, and obviously just keep safety in mind when you're putting the antennas up. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed this week's video and next week we'll be showing you some more new products. Take care.